Hi, my name is Lisa Conigai and I'm the founder and principal designer of LHK Interiors Design Studio here in Los Angeles, California. And I'm so excited to have you in my home today. And this is our puppy brownie. I'd love to give you a tour inside, so let's go. So this is the first room you see when you walk into our house and I really wanted to add this dramatic moment with this black accent herringbone wall. So a fun fact is that I actually DIY'd this shoe black wall myself. I got my um, degree from YouTube University and I just absolutely love this feature in this room. But I also love the contrast that it creates with this limestone that we found. So it really gives a nice organic element to the room and just bringing in a natural Texture just cozies everything up at the same time. And then we also added these beams just to add some more architectural interest. But I'd love to show you the kitchen where it really just opens up the space and it is the heart of our home. So when I'm designing a kitchen, I like to put a lot of thoughtful details into the space. So the stone that we have here is porcelain and the stone itself is pretty subtle, but at least we got the really natural veining. I knew when I designed this kitchen that I wanted to have this waterfall edge. So it's just a really nice design element and moment when you walk into the kitchen for the first time. And when you look up, I chose these lights because I wanted something special in here and it adds like a little bit of jewelry in the space because it just adds a nice sparkle. And then the hardware is the continued jewelry of the space. I actually have a favorite drawer and it has these different slats and sizes. So all my pots and pans are sitting straight up. It's very easy to find and it just makes me so happy. So when we designed the family room, I knew that I wanted it to lead out to the backyard. So we added these sliding glass doors and really just having that California indoor outdoor living. I literally designed this entire built-in cabinet around this TV for my husband. I obviously painted it this kind of moody, inky blue to coordinate with the cabinets that we have in our kitchen. Adding these wood tones really helped bring in another natural element. So when you look at the open floor plan, this is where all the entertainment happens. But when I want to have a little bit of peace and quiet time, I love to retreat to my primary bedroom. So I'll see you there. So in here, we continued with the ceiling detail. And since we do have such grand ceilings in here and I wanted it to be more intimate, I decided to make it all one cohesive color and it just cozies up the entire vibe of this room. And this amazing chandelier just adds so much sparkle and jewelry to the space. It casts the most prettiest glow at night so I could just relax and be at peace. The color scheme in here is very calming and soothing and we continue with that in the bathroom. So this is the last room in our house that was completed and it actually is my favorite room. It gives like a very spa zen like vibe. So when I design bathrooms, I always start with the tile and I let that inspire me. So I found the slab and I just loved all this veining. It wasn't too dramatic, but it just gave enough of an interest when you walk in. And I love the movement on this floor, just adding some more texture to the space. And of course you can't have relaxation without a tub. And I really love the soft curves of this tub. It's just an, almost an art piece itself. And to complete the bathroom, we actually designed the closet to be incorporated into the floor plan. And another cool feature on here were these dual sided mirrors that I did. And it's just a really nice design element that we're able to incorporate. So that's the end of our tour. Thank you so much for allowing me to share our home with you and I hope to see you on the next project. Can't get enough of these breathtaking homes? Hit that subscribe button for more open house coming your way.